Mariners win, I think, 11 to nothing. Okay, here we go. Line drive to Victor Robles. Caught. Mariners win 11 to nothing. They improve to 52 and 43 on the season, and they take the first of a four game series with the Los Angeles Angels. It was time to start recording. I got to see if that would have been the jinx. Hey, I just delete this video and nobody would have known about it. But now you know, I can record a video with two outs in an 11 0 game and everything works out just fine. Uh, go over the scoring plays. Mariners get four in the first. Josh Rojas singles in a run. Ty France grounds into a fielder's choice to score a run. And Jorge Polanco singles home two, four nothing in the middle of the first. Third inning, Cal Rally, a.k.a. Big Dumper, a.k.a. my best friend in the whole wide world, homers to right to make it five to nothing. That's from the left side. In the fourth inning, J.P. Crawford shows off that pop, takes a pitch out to the whatever the heck they call that little wall. It counts as a homer. Seven nothing. That scores Mitch Hanniger. Uh, JP Crawford singles home Jorge Polanco in the sixth. That makes it eight nothing. And big dumper homers from the right side as well, with two runners on, including JP Crawford. Eleven nothing. Mariners win. If you were looking for a negative from this game, you're. I think you might be coming to the wrong place, or. I just don't think there are very many negatives. There are no negatives. If you wanted to find a negative, it's the fact that I don't take pleasure in watching players struggle in their MLB debut. And that dude struggled in his MLB debut. He had a clean second inning, but the first the first inning was ugly and the third inning was ugly too. And yikes. And it's fair to say and look, we talked about it. The Mariners have struggled against pitchers of every ability at times this year. But it's fair to say that the Mariners have been helped a little bit on this road trip by facing two guys who just aren't very good right now. And in the case of the guy the Angels threw today, I'm not sure he's ever going to be good enough. Major is. Kokonowitz, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. He was a guy I kind of liked in the draft a few years ago. No, I just don't see that being anything more than organizational arm. But they took advantage of it. They took advantage of it. But that's my only negative. I don't like watching rookies struggle. It is the snowflake in me that I want to see young players succeed. And he did not. Against my favorite team, more importantly, against my grandma's favorite team. But they did not struggle one bit. He did. They did not. Simply Seattle provides the very best in Seattle sports gear. Great stuff for the Mariners, Seahawks, Kraken, Storm, Sounders, Huskies, Cougars, a whole bunch of PNW teams. Once you find all that good stuff, use code MOLLYWAP15 because it saves 15% off your order. M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5. Automatically takes 15% off. It's a great deal from great people. And yeah, please do that because it shows you're paying attention to the show. It helps them out. It helps me out. Everything is good. Uh, I don't get money, by the way, when you do that. It just shows that you're paying attention to the show. I just wanted to point that out real quick. But yeah, thank you so much. www.simplyseattle.com. Link in the description. So the first two innings of Luis Castillo's start, I was kind of in a little bit of uh-oh mode, you know, because he did not look great. His command was a little bit off, um, gave up some traffic. But he was able to get out of those innings, and from the third inning on, he was fantastic. I'm a little annoyed that he only gave them eight, six innings, but I get it. Blowout game, save the arm. It's right before the All-Star break. Keep everybody fresh. But Castillo probably could have gone another inning. He was really good today, especially after that second inning. Very impressive. Two straight excellent starts from him. To come into the break, I love to see it. Love to see it. Um, Eduardo Bazardo was great. I was really impressed with his stuff today. Now, there's a reason why he's pitching in 11 nothing games, and I'm not trusting him in anything but a low leverage situation. But he was good. He was really good. I now have said he was good, really good, and great. I was, I'd go probably really good of those three things that I just described if I had to pick one. 
very nice job. Very nice job. Saves the bullpen. Um, Bauman didn't look great either. Loads the bases, but he's able to escape a couple line drives, go right up the middle, get caught. It is what it is. He's not ready to be a high leverage reliever. There's a chance he can be that someday, but he's not ready just yet to be that high leverage reliever. Uh, one of their best offensive games of the year, to say the least. Number one, only struck out five times. Does some of that have to do with the fact that they face two pitchers who aren't going to miss bats at the highest level? Of course. Of course. I felt really bad for Kenny Rosenberg. Talk about a guy who was just left in to die. Or to take the struggles. I know we're not supposed to say that word on YouTube, but like he, he was the sacrificial lamb. And the Mariners lambed it up real good. Lambed it up real good. So many good offensive games here. Amazing that Julio goes three for three with a walk and doesn't have close to the best offensive game. Not even close, but awesome to see that. What was nice about seeing Julio get the three for three with a double, doubles have been few and far between for Mr. Rodriguez, was I thought he took good at bats on Wednesday. Yes, he struck out four times, but that's the result of it. I thought the process for Julio actually looked good. I mentioned that on the video Wednesday. Now, he struck out four times, and that's never good enough. But I'm glad that didn't carry over to today. I'm glad it didn't carry over to today. You know, raises the average up considerably. Even with the 0 for 4, I think that you see, uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hopefully, I'm not restarting this video, so hopefully you know what I'm saying. I, I thought Julio played a really good game, but it pales in comparison to some other guys too. Nice game from Ty France. Oh boy, oh boy, is he slow. But <laughs> he does get the double. He gets a couple of hits. Um, he was chugging. He was chugging into second base after that one because I think he was pretty embarrassed, may not be the right word, but kind of annoyed that he wasn't able to. He hit two balls off the wall, and only one of them was a double. And <laughs> the speed is problem. The speed is a problem. It's problematic is what I was trying to say there. Words are not important when you watch your team win 11 nothing. You know, the team you root for. I do not own the Seattle Mariners. Um, great to see hard contact from him. Another nice day from Jorge Polanco. He looks so much more comfortable this week. And again, some of that has to do with who they're facing. But again, can't complain about that too much. Beggars cannot be choosers. And it's awesome to see him look comfortable at the plate. Um, J.P. Crawford was fantastic. Fantastic. One of the best games, if not the best game I've seen him play this year. Goes the other way for that RBI single. Shows off that he still does have that pop. It hasn't shown up nearly enough this year. Just like Julio. Just like a few other guys. But you saw that it's there. And he took advantage. He ambushed a pitch. It's still weird to me that's considered a home run just because the wall is so weird. But it counts. I love what I saw from J.P. Crawford today, and Big Dumper is on one. When Big Dumper is hot, there aren't many better catchers in baseball. There's not many better catchers in baseball, period, because of what he provides defensively. And at the very least, he even when he strikes out a bunch, he's usually providing quality at bats. The results, again, and it's a result-based industry, aren't always there but he at least makes pitchers work. But when he's locked in, and I do believe locked in exists, especially for players like Big Dumper. When he's locked in, oh, he's capable of magic. Capable of magic. Here's a fun little stat that I saw right before we were starting to record. Uh, I've, this is from Jason Bernard. Even after 10 years, we're still getting first at StatCast. Cal Rally is the first player in the StatCast era. That's 10 years to hit a home run from both sides of the plate with an exit velocity over 110 miles per hour. That's your starting catcher. 
your starting catcher did something that hasn't been done in the stat cast era and on a, in a good way. That's so impressive. His power is so dang impressive. And he looks sensational right now. Oh, it's so good to see. So good to see. So you get this win. You do have the, the toughest part of this road trip. Tyler Anderson has been fantastic. Um, and we don't know what we're going to get from Brian Wu. This is the one game that I think would be an acceptable loss of the three. I still think you should win because the Angels stink. But this would be the tough one. If you can get this one, man, you have to feel good. Because right now, anything but a 5-1 and one road trip isn't good enough. Isn't good enough. 4-2, and two, winning one of these games and losing the other two ain't good enough. You have to win this series, especially after the domination that you had today. And especially just considering the Angels are bad. That is a bad baseball team. Yeesh. But an awesome effort from the Seattle Mariners today. I would appreciate you guys hitting like. I'd appreciate you guys hitting subscribe. I would appreciate you guys hitting join if you're interested in MLB draft videos, if you're interested in prospect rankings, if you're interested in chats, if you're interested in a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be coming up this summer. I'd really appreciate it. It's $4.99 a month. Totally understand if people aren't interested in that. But if you are interested and you think you'd like to help me out, I would really appreciate it. And I appreciate your support regardless because this channel has grown so much so quickly. And it's been one of my favorite things. The other thing I will point out, I am co-hosting or not co-hosting. I am hosting uh, for Ian Furness tomorrow. Uh, from 12 to 3 on 93.3 KJR FM. And I will be hosting all next week for Ian as well. I'm super excited for the opportunity. Um, can't appreciate Ian and KJR enough for giving me this chance. So, yeah, good stuff. Very fun win. I'm sorry, Mr. Angel's debut. That's no fun. Could have been worse. At least you got the clean second. But uh, you made my grandma happy today. Accidentally but you made grandma happy today.